Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm in the street, and this is a surprise. Um, once again, some friends of ours have passed us on another old computer, and I'm going to clean it up. It is a Power Mac G4, as you can see. Yeah, I literally just received this. I'm gonna see what my family can do with it. Let's take a look inside. I literally just got this. Not sure what's inside exactly. You can bring that up here if you need to. Um, looks like we've got a. This is super duper dusty. A ten gigabyte hard drive there. So you know, back in the day, they didn't put a lot of hard drive space in these things. We've got how much RAM do we have? We've got two fifty six megabytes. Um. This is... I have no idea. I'm going to take all the parts of these out, and whew, this is, like, beyond dusty. This is ridiculously dusty. So, uh, take the RAM out and clean it out. Fairly certain that it doesn't harm it. This has got to be the dustiest computer I've ever received, actually. At least the dustiest computer I've ever received and opened. Pop that RAM out. This second RAM stick does not say what kind of RAM it is, um, or how much it is, but we'll see when we turn the computer on how much RAM there is in the system overall. Pop that back in. Yeah, if you guys remember a while ago, I had the Power Mac G3 that my friend Matty Reinigle's dad gave to me. And I used that as the web server for Nerd in the Street for a while. And then I ended up selling it to Michael Cheneau, and he's using it as a file server at his house right now. This is really cool. This would be the, the updated version of that. So that was from the year 2000. This one's probably from 2001 or 2002, um, depending on what revision it is. You must be really bored if you're helping me with the video. We got my sister Kirsten manning the camera today. So I'm thinking... Depending on what this computer can handle, um, we might use it as a media computer down here in the basement. Now, it's definitely going to be able to handle audio, but I don't know if it will be able to handle video or not. If it can, then I've actually got, if you follow me over here, back behind this corner, I've actually got a, an Apple Studio CRT that actually came with uh, that exact model computer. <laughs> I got, I got, I got the Studio CRT right there oh, when I got the iMac G3 or the Power Mac G3. It came with a couple of iMac G3s too, but I got that when I when I got the Power Mac G3. But that that monitor, you can tell by the color, came with a G4. Um, so yeah, it came with this kind of computer. So that would be cool if this can push video. I think that's what I'm going to use it for. I need to get a longer. Uh, longer audio cable for the basement here. All right, so this graphics card, it's an ATI Radeon graphics card. No idea what model it is. We'll see when we turn it on once again. There's so much dust in here. We've got a heat sink here for the processor. Scrape the dust off the hard drive. And I wonder, we'll definitely do a clean install of, of some operating system on here. Probably OS X Tiger. And the Power Mac G3 was actually, like, it was, it, it screamed on Panther, but when I upgraded it to Tiger, it, it slowed down just a little bit. So this is probably going to run great on Tiger. Yeah, this is really cool. You can really use these things for a lot if you upgrade them. The problem is it's probably not upgraded with, with modern equipment since it's been gifted to us. But got an optical drive here and power supply right there. This is the same folding design that you see in the G3. The G4 has the same design. And the G3 looks almost the same. It's a different color and it's also glossy, whereas the G3 was not glossy. So we're going to clean this thing off. Did not come with a keyboard or mouse or anything. So we might need to run out to Walmart sometime and get some extra keyboards and mice because I don't think these Macs have PS2 ports. No, they do not. So we need USB stuff. But yeah. All right, the top of this is not glossy. Yeah, I, I totally, I would have loved this as a web server 
back when I was using the G3 as a web server, but now I've got the freaking 2006 Mac Pro over there. So I have no reason to use this as a web server anymore when I've when I've got something that's a whole lot better. And off the side here, I'm hesitant to use these Clorox wipes because this is a glossy surface, but following it up with some tissue paper. What do you think, Kirsten? Look cool? Want to trade me your laptop for it? No? Darn. All right, let's take a look at the front. So yeah, standard, standard, really, for this kind of machine, but still very cool. Man, yeah, this would have been, I would have, like, loved to have this back when I had the G3, because the G3 to the G4 is a really big upgrade, obviously, just like the G4 to the G5 is a big upgrade. But yeah, this would have been, this would have been great to run the website, but now that I've got something better, you know, I wouldn't want to run run the website on this. Maybe maybe like the mumble server or something. Um, assuming we don't find a place for this elsewhere in the house. Like I said, if it runs video, we might use it as a media computer down here. We might use it as a media computer upstairs. Let's take a look at the back, see what kind of video connectivity we have. VGA and DVI. So we do not have HDMI capability on this thing, unfortunately. But that's all right. Um, there's just dust everywhere on this thing. The power supply on this is the same power supply or the same design as the one in the G3. So you can see we've got the power into the computer and then we've actually got power out if you have the cable to connect this to the studio CRT, which I actually still have that laying around because I didn't give it to Michael when I sold him that G3 because uh, he had no use for it. So that's really interesting. And we're back around to the first side. So yeah, at this point, I've cleaned it up as much as I am going to right now. I guess we can go ahead and turn it on. What do you think? All right. So let's take it over here. I'm going to put it by the uh, Studio CRT. I know this is weird. You expect me to do this by my desk. But, uh, yeah, here, why don't I, why don't we move? Now we have some room, so you can bring the camera over here and point it at the screen. So I will grab our cable. It's got like clumps of dirt in the uh, plug, so that's always a good sign. It's interesting. The G3's built-in uh, video card only had VGA, but this has a VGA port and a DVI port, so it should be somewhat upgraded from the G3 system. Now I will go and get keyboard and mouse to plug into this. Unfortunately, I gave one of my Apple keyboards to Michael when I sold him that computer. Uh, and the other one's kind of broken, so like I said, might need to run out and just get some cheap $10 keyboard and mouse set. If I plug in, there are two USB ports, and we have two USB devices. Okay. There's Ethernet, there's also a telephone modem, like, not in a not in a PCI card, just a built-in telephone modem right on the motherboard. That's interesting. Uh, we've got two FireWire, looks like 400 ports. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. All right. Oh, should probably turn the screen on too there, huh? Definitely makes a different sound with the G3. Maybe a little louder, not quite sure. Ah, I did not hear a bong. It looks like there's a built-in speaker still, so I wonder why we didn't hear the bong. We'll watch the screen here. Like I said, we'll definitely do a clean install of whatever operating system is on this. Looks like Tiger. Um, you're there. All right, there we go. Now we can look around. So yeah, definitely G4, obviously. Let's, let's quit Thunderbird. Yeah, definitely going a bit slow, but there are lots of things running right now. FileMaker Pro is on this machine. That is really interesting. You remember playing with that in the Apple Store? It's like Bento or Bento. It's the database manager. Um, yeah, this is interesting. Let's do about this Mac. Let's see. Um, 400 megahertz, so low-end processor, and only 384 megabytes of RAM. That is not a lot of RAM at all. Let's take a look at the full system specs. Yeah. It's like, is this a single? This might be a single core machine. 
put the graphics in display. All right, we've only got 16 megabytes of VRAM. You know how, how much VRAM my computer has? 2,048 megabytes. This has 16 megabytes. So yeah, not a lot of RAM. Uh, video RAM, that is. Or regular RAM, for that matter. Um, yeah. This is really cool. Yeah, we've got 256 megs and 264 megabyte uh, things there. It says the fourth slot is empty. We had four uh, RAM sticks in the computer. So we'll have to see if one of those sticks did not go in all the way after we cleaned them or what. One of them's faulty. But yeah, um, guess I'll let you guys know when we get this being used for something, but for now, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Just another cool toy that we'll have to integrate into some purpose here. But yeah, for now, that's all. I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm under the street, and I will see you guys later. See ya.